Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Noita, and thank you all very much. I appreciate you guys. I hope you're all having a great day. Today's video is going to be fairly short and straightforward. I'm working on a much larger and more massive video, but that one's going to take at least a few more days to finish because the content is actually not yet finished in-game, and obviously I want to wait until that's finished before I finish my video on it. Makes sense, right? And this was going to be part of that video, so I decided to split this off into its own video and just put that out as kind of like an appetizer for you guys today. Anyway, obviously massive spoilers, and this video has to do with as above, so below. Let's go. All right, so the thing we are looking for is down in the underworld beneath all of this lava. So I'm using a new-ish digging spell, the Summon Worm spell, with Lava to Blood on it in order to make it all the way down there. Once we get down to the hell work, the actual, the best way to find them is to actually go all the way to the right side, which I am not doing here because this is the first time I went and looked for it. And when you hit the far right wall of the hell chasm, the very deep hell chasm, just stick to that right wall and eventually just fall and fall and fall. And eventually there'll be a little side biome that you'll land on. And then from there, it's a fairly short distance down and to the left. Go mostly left and you'll hit a hell version of the Temple of the Art. Keep going to the left and very, very close to the bottom of that hell temple biome will be the Dark Moon, which, if you're familiar with the lore at all, could possibly be the first of the eggs that rolled out of the nest because of all the blood which formed life and death, the cold and the ice, the land and the mountains, the warmth and the fire, and basically all of nature. That's what this moon might be. And what these glyphs say, actually, is what hatched. Again, it's right underneath this hell version of the Temple of the Art, just right underneath it. Now, there are actually three secrets attached to this. The first two I'm going to show you in this video. If you were to go and collect all four of the main essences, all except for the Essence of Spirits, and then bring those down here to this moon, from my blood, 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 what hatched from my blood? Life and death? Nature? perhaps. The second Dark Moon secret has to do with the refreshing gourd. That's right. We're going to gourd Colmy, turn him into Gordon, and then bring him all the way down with the four main essences, the essence of earth, the essence of fire, the essence of water, and the essence of air to the Dark Moon. This one might take a little while longer because Colmy likes to just kind of get stuck and hang out. He will follow you anywhere you go in the entire world, but it might take him a little while. He likes to get stuck. Sometimes he stops to uh, just enjoy the scenery, you know? It is a very nice looking game. Lots of interesting things to see, lots of sights. But eventually he'll come scuttling up like a little spider. And we gotta get him, we gotta kite him over to the center of the moon around where the glyphs are. Come on, call me. And... Heretic, how dare you do this? The flesh of the moon turns into acid, and ten buffed-up shadow connoisseurs spawn. Uh, that may have been a mistake. Anyway, let's try that again and see if we can successfully defeat all ten of the shadow connoisseurs to see if anything interesting happens. All right, so Gordon is here and 10 shadow connoisseurs. Let's quickly escape and get some cover and then take care of Gordon first. He's gone and one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
And now, I know you didn't see the first two actually get killed, but trust me, they were killed. Just to make sure, I did look around everywhere, but there was nothing else firing, and nothing happened. Nothing interesting happened. I don't know if eventually there will be more of, like, a, a prize for defeating all ten of them, because it is kind of difficult to do it with all of them shooting at you and potentially polymorphing and blinding you and teleporting you into polymorph shots. Anyway, guys, so there is actually at least one more secret having to do with this Dark Moon, but that'll be in the next absolutely massive video. That should be my next Noita upload. You do unlock tree achievements for this, and if you don't know what those are, I do have a big video in the works going over all of those soon enough. All things in good time. Anyway, for now, have a great day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.